So I got this question the other day. It was about, you know, what's the difference between habits and discipline? Like, what's the deal here? And I was thinking about that. I was like, that's a heck of a good question. And, and so I want to give you a couple of examples. You know, you know I want to reframe what you think about discipline and habits, okay? So I, I want you to think about this. Think about something that you've been wanting to do. Like, let's say exercise or lose weight or something. You know, maybe you're trying to write a paper right now or something like that or do a report or a project. And what's happening is, let's say you're just not getting around to it. You go, God, you know, you just kind of kind of say, man, I wish I had more discipline. I wish I had more discipline. And, you know, I think we've all been there before, you know, at, you know asking ourselves, man, or wishing we had more discipline. But, you know, I, I, want, I want to suggest something to you. We're all disciplined. We're 100% disciplined to the habits that we have. Think about that for a second, a habit, right? A habit something that we just automatically do, right? Because we just do it and you, know, you can't really define a habit with the word habit, but it's something we automatically do. And so instead of saying, you know, beating yourself up because we have like a 10 pound guilt machine right here called our brain. And, and so we associate discipline with guilt. And so guilt really doesn't serve anybody. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't help you make any money. It doesn't help you become a better person. Guilt doesn't do anything. And really it's guilt's like your guilt. Guilt's, uh, my guilt is my guilt. There's no need to display it in front of each other. You know, we need to do it on our own hours, okay, in our own time. And so there's no, there's no room for that. So to kind of reframe this, is, I want you to think about, ask yourself the question, okay, let's say five years from now, you want to have a certain, um, level of knowledge of a new language or you want to be more fit or you want to be more conscious about, I don't know, how you're treating others, okay? And maybe five years is too long, I don't know, let's just pick five years. You really want to ask yourself, what do I need to do to form the habits to become this type of person five years from now? That's a more empowering way to do it. And he, he, here's another word. Here's the other word that I'm, I'm going to go back and forth between discipline and habits to kind of help you reframe this. It's really helped me a lot is a lot of people, they're like, well, you should, you should, and that should is another kind of bad word. Well, you should be more disciplined. And what's happening is they're taking their, their, their vision of what they think, the end point of what they think you should look like or what they think you should be, and they're putting that on you. And they're saying, oh, you should be more disciplined in this area. You should be, you should be more disciplined over here. And once again, that has this, this judgment, this kind of guilt attached to this discipline thing. I know it's kind of weird because we hear the word discipline a lot, you know, in school, all oh, that student's disciplined. They're doing this and this and this, you know, or, or, you know, you're really disciplined doing that. And so we, we, we got the, the word discipline hammered into our brains as we were young. But, but really, you know, to a more empowering way and more positive way of looking at it and guilt free is you know, vision what you need to be, envision what you need to be, you know, next year or six months from now or five years from now, and then and ask yourself, okay, what kind of qualities or what do I need to do to develop that habit to then arrive at that point where I'm more fit or I've lost 50 pounds or 20 pounds or whatever it is or percentage body fat, okay? So then you could start working on the little things that are gonna help you form new habits versus like, I'm just going to will it in the place and I'm just going to be dis self-disciplined. Well, what happens when you, when, you, when, you, when you pull back that rubber band is some, at some point it gets let go and it snaps all the way back and almost goes the opposite way, right? And so it's like this willing it into existence instead of actually forming new habits. And so once again, we're 100% disciplined to the habits, to our habits and the habits that we create. And so, all right, so I, I don't want to get into a long video about or an audio here about um, creating new habits, but you know, they say it could be formed in 21 days or you know, 30 days, whatever the number is, you know, if you want to get more fit, then you know, create a new habit. Okay, every day go walk one flight of stairs for the first day, you know, and then two flights of stairs for the second day. I mean, do it in incremental steps. I mean, put your gym clothes right in the middle of the room where you've got to walk over your gym clothes before you get to your bedroom door to go fix your coffee or whatever you do in the kitchen. I mean, put yourself in a position where you're, help, you're helping yourself create, form that new habit, okay? And so once again, you're compelling yourself by asking yourself questions. Who, 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 do is it, who is it do I want to be or do I want to have or whatever in six months, a year, you know, five years from now and ask yourself the question, what do I need to do on a daily basis or who I need to be in a daily basis? 
how do I need to act on a daily basis to form this new habit, to become this kind of person or this type of person that I want to be? And that's a more empowering way of doing that. And I, I've been thinking that, about that a lot. I'm like, you know what? It feels more freeing. It feels Elvis, you know, obviously guilt-free. It feels more, I, I feel lighter. I don't feel like this weight and this like concentrating. I gotta be more disciplined. Rah, 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 rah. And I'm sure you felt that way too. And so I hope, you know, this this video here has really helped you think about, wow, let me let me think about this. Cause I wanna hear from you in the comments below. I wanna hear about what are your thoughts about what I just talked about? You know, cause I've thought about discipline my entire life about, you know, sticking to something and being disciplined. And I actually kind of have a, I had a positive look on that. But when I think about it, it's like, you know what? Basically I just created habits. That's what I did. I mean, I remember I, I would study, um, I would go into school earlier, like an hour, hour and a half earlier to school. And I would study in the morning. I wouldn't study at night because I had football practice and athletics and I was so beat tired at night. I mean, I'd be falling asleep at eight, nine o'clock at night. So homework for me really didn't work at night. It worked better in the morning. And so I created that habit and, and, and I was disciplined in that. So people could say, oh yeah, he was really disciplined, but really it was just my, it was just my habit. You know, I'm sure you've got good habits that you formed that you're hundred percent disciplined to those. And then you probably have some maybe bad habits or habits that are not serving you anymore that you're hundred percent disciplined to those as well. Right? So now it's time to form new habits in replace of the old habits and empower ourselves to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. So I want to hear from you down there though, in the comments. All right. So let us know what are you, what are your thoughts about this reframing, you know, discipline versus habit and all of that. I'd like to hear from you and I look forward to helping you arrive at your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.